We are doing a Northeast States baseball lineup. Um, BBD, I don't know. Could you can you share the states with the chat so they know? <clears throat> of course. Who has who has qualified for the lineup? Our eleven states, going generally from north to south. Here, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Delaware. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland. Yeah. Was anyone was anyone else on the precipice? Um, like Ohio's on there, but very much a Midwest state, uh, and was covered in the Midwest lineup we did yeah. with Jerry. If you want to check that right. out from from November, Jerry Blevins. Uh, like Virginia him. would be the next one, which I think some people might lump into. Northeast, yeah, like Virginia, Northern Virginia. Virginia would have been okay, but it, if you're a true we, Northeast person, it doesn't feel great. But it's a lot better than Ohio. No, yeah, absolutely. If we needed a twelfth, it would have been Virginia. Okay. You ready to shuck some clam? I I guess so, dude. I really Yeah. I really um All right. I had one that I liked a lot. Okay. But I told it to Luke and he poo-pooed it so hard. Really? Yeah. And and I'm doing it despite him, but I do feel like nobody is going to like it. I had about I had about two spots that I just really didn't have a good answer for. I'm going to be learning. Okay. We'll find out if I like mine, yeah. if I like yours. Yeah. That's, uh, a, that's often how these go. Yeah. Because there's some that are, I just really, really don't know, gosh. I got two that I'm just like, eh. I have, I have a set that I like a lot. Okay. And I have... That was my jaw. Yeah. There's some that I kind of like don't need you. I don't know. There's oh, DH. Are you guys doing that. DHs? That yeah. helps out a lot if I, yeah, if I so do on, DH. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, on the on the sheet, it looks like you have a manager slot, not a DH slot. Which I, I like, think the manager slot has always been driven by you. I just copied and pasted from the <laughs> Bailey draft. Yeah, sometimes we've yeah. lumped in a manager, or you've tacked it. we've tacked it on. But Sometimes <sighs> players have turned into managers for yeah. you. We have, we've had some player managers on our team. Yes. A lot yeah, of 1950s yeah. baseball. Should we start chewing through it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my catcher. Okay. I didn't feel confident in mine, so I'm willing to hear. I felt decent about mine. I got to go first? How about I'll go first because I'm not confident in mine. Mine's Pennsylvania. Okay, Mine's Pennsylvania. Go. Okay. Mine's yeah, kind of like bottom down there okay. and kind of like grimy and kind of like the stabilizer. Like it, it needs to be there. Okay. It's, part it's of just us. kind of the stabilizer. Okay. Like its role is bigger than a small role. Yeah. But it's not a star-studded role. Pennsylvania does a, like as it does a little of everything. Gets a little gross. Like it has some leadership stuff. qualities to it. You know, invented America and all that <clears throat> nonsense. It, its general shape is kind of like a a block. It's like a veteran catcher. So that's what I had. I had Pennsylvania behind the dish. I'm glad BBD also had it. Jake, who did you have? Pennsylvania, as we've seen often in these drafts, uh, I'll be honest, I had slotted its third base coming up for very similar reasons to you guys. Uh, Pennsylvania, for the size of it and what it does offer in this Northeast States draft, did have to have an important role on the team. Um, I, unfortunately, with catcher... Um, and maybe I had Yankees on the brain. I had a very new age pitch frame and catcher that that's all they do. I had Delaware. Um, and again, I wasn't happy about it, but I don't like that for Delaware. Again, it was one of the, it was one of the two spots I was uncomfortable with. Delaware had a fairly specific lane for me. It's Austin Hedges. It's Roberto Perez. It's Higgy. Again. I'm a little disappointed in it. Okay. So, it's just out. It's just out. Should we go to first base? Um, yeah. Do you, so, is there not one? 
Someone that doesn't have a spot? Oh, DH. DH. Dude, I, yeah, I don't know about my DH. That's where DH and catcher got tricky for me. I like all my other spots. So first base, I have a first base. I have main. I don't have main. Okay. Um, sure. I tried to pivot main off of where I have it, and I couldn't. Okay. I have Massachusetts first base. Really? That was a consideration. I went um, kind of character, kind of like uh, he's going to talk to a lot of people. Um, not a lot of range or speed, but good. Like it, Mass is a good player on the team mm. and kind of the welcoming. Uh, you know, you want an accent at first because they're going to talk to a lot of people. Right. So <clears throat> kind of interesting. I was. They were in consideration at first base for me because – I was trying to think of of what the friendliest or, or what the what the chattiest states first and foremost would be in Massachusetts was high on that list. It's kind of how I went about it as um, well. And uh, but then I ultimately landed on a Massachusetts reputation isn't being friendly, which isn't a deal breaker here. Well, it's 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 friendly with like. Uh, it's like Joey Votto. Friendly with vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Friendly with vinegar. Votto's probably how I would... I do I have would. to say Massachusetts, one of my favorite landing places, but we'll get there. Um, so what, who ended up being at first base uh, was Maryland. Just seems friendly. Interesting. Interesting. Friendly. Solid. Maryland, Maryland, again, in the States had to be impactful. I didn't have it there. Uh, we'll see coming up. Um, Maine, uh, I'll give a little more of a push for Maine. It's kind of the state kind of looks like a big mitt. Um, I think that's important, and it's low key, like really big. It's huge. Maine's huge. Yeah, huge. Yeah. So that's huge. where I had the kind of lumbering, the first baseman. I could have been talked into Maine in a few spots, and I use a lot of the same justifications you have for where Maine probably a top five fit for me. Okay. All right. And I wish um, you guys can rank yours going forward. Neither of these are top five, I don't think. Okay. Pennsylvania or Mass at, at the. Okay. I like the way my whole infield dynamic went went about it. I'm excited to get where we're gonna get. But um, two is a top five fit for second base is a top five fit for me. We've got a chance for a consensus. You th- no, I think you're uh, going a different route than me. Mm-hmm. Um, and now I think you and I are. On the same. Spot. This was one of the first ones I thought of. My second baseman is Connecticut. Oh. I considered. It's not going to be a major player on the lineup. I considered. It's going to be a bottom of the order contact bat, but it's going to be in the mix because to get up and down to New England, to the Mid-Atlantic, you have to go through Connecticut. It connects everyone. Double plays go through it. Plays at the plate go through it. Relay man. That's kind of Connecticut's role. He's a bridge of action, but no one's paying to see Connecticut play. I just unfortunately think, Jim, the other option is the purest of Little League (laughs) second baseman that there's ever been. You look at the Little League team, and there's one kid who's head and shoulders smaller than everyone else, and they're going out to play second base, and that's where Rhode Island went. That was me go- growing up. I did not put Rhode Island at second base. I was between uh, these BBD. two options at second, and it was uh, I went with Delaware at second base. Okay. Kind of similar reasons. So now, more <clears throat> pathetic. Now, this is uh, part of the same combo, so I'm going to move us on. Right. Rhode Island is my glove first. Really? No bat shortstop. Interesting. Because Rhode Island is all flash, no surface. It's got the beaches. It's got the destination. People pay to go to Rhode Island. They just don't stay there. And I was trying to figure out where does that fit on a team. Nobody pays for Connecticut. But Rhode Island has flash. I mean, Newport's got festivals. They got Bachelor and Bachelorette. They got. I mean, Rhode Island just is Connecticut's coastline. It's just the sexy part of Connecticut. They just stole it. So I, <clears throat> this is Luke disagreed with me, but I couldn't, I couldn't shake it. I have as a glove first makes the plays awful, awful on offense shortstop for Rhode Island. <clears throat> Connecticut and Rhode Island were an option. And I love the them up the middle. They were an option for yeah. up the middle, unfortunately. And I don't know Lucas's argument on this, but Connecticut is just a, 
beefier Rhode Island that I think the team would be looking at Connecticut at second and Rhode Island at short, and it'd just be like, Connecticut's got a better <clears throat> arm. Like, it, Connecticut can just do everything a little <clears throat> bigger than Rhode Island. So I would, in my head, I would flip those for you. Connecticut's just like, no one knows anything about um, it. I mean, you know, I'm one of the proudest Connecticut guys in Connecticut. I know, so you're a little close Connecticut to Connecticut <laughs> kind of didn't have a good landing spot for me in this draft, um, which made me a little sad. I have Jersey as the shortstop. Um, I think Jersey, I mean, there's a little bit of Jeter in my head, I'll be honest, but Jersey's like... I do love that. I didn't have them there, but I... I Jersey's got, the... In the in this region, Jersey's the state with, like, athletes. Like, Jersey's athletic. Like, there's good football players and basketball players and athletes that come out of Jersey. There's an attitude. I had, I had, I have Jersey box. fitting your build, build a little bit okay. there. I just didn't have it at short. Uh, Rhode Island at short was the first thing I thought of. Whoa. Because I was like, Rhode Island, that's a weird one. We're it's like a really pretty, it's a flashy state, but I mean, it's tiny. And I just have them as like Sim, uh, Anderson Simmons or Ozzie Smith or just someone just like glove first, mm. sparkle, but kind of all flash. Probably botches the routine ones, if we're being honest. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give my shortstop. Third base in tandem, I think, because we're kind okay. of, that's okay. the transition we're in, and they, <clears throat> there's a dynamic here with them for me. Sure. Connecticut's my shortstop. Okay. Um, and New Jersey. That's at, crazy. And New Jersey is at third. And New Jersey doesn't get it. Doesn't get why Connecticut's over there. Okay. Connecticut's one, just like a little preppier. Just going to like make go and make all the plays. It's pretty stable. Dude, I built the Yankees. Holy Dude. shit. Yeah. Connecticut short. <clears throat> I know Rhode Island at short's bizarre, but I I can't. It was a little bit of where they ended up, and then I liked how that shook out. Um, it was one of the later slots, I think. You have New Jersey New at Jersey third? New Jersey at third base, and he has an edge. Mm. He thinks he should be the shortstop. He doesn't get why Connecticut's getting these opportunities. Mm. Doesn't get why. We'll get to my line. He doesn't get why Connecticut's up up there. She's like, Connecticut's making the plays. Jersey, you're valuable part of the team. We love having you here. Hate Would hate to play against you. He's kind of Donaldson-esque mm. um, as far as what he means in the locker room. New Jersey armpit joke. He's kind of in the corner there. Um, it's like, New Jersey, you're playing a valuable role. You're a good bat, good glove, a third baseman. Mm. Like, enjoy what you've got. Jersey at third. Yeah. yeah. You have Pennsylvania at third. So I am now realizing I have New York at third. And I built the Yankees' current team. Mm. Uh, Rizzo, Massachusetts at first, lockdown, steady, big presence. And then New York, Donaldson, attitude at third, a veteran of the game, keeping the middle of the infield at line. Yeah. Kiner, <laughs> bat first, or glove first, supposedly, shortstop. And Connecticut is DJ. Boring as shit. Ooh. But everything goes through him and a player. But not... That's n- a massive compliment for Connecticut. It is. It's a massive it could be compliment. Glaber too if you want to go like. I the, thought you the, were going Glaber, but, but the same way. But Last that's year's DJ. So I built. I I built the current Yankees in my head. Okay. That's what I did, and uh, <laughs> I'm seeing that Those now. Oh, I I knew I had Connecticut and Rhode Island. Those were my top two picks, and I was like, "Fuck, I need some like veteran presence mm. in the infield to keep these two in line." So I went the big guns, Mass and New York, on the corners. To keep them tight, in yeah. line, bring the attitude and the little, like, angst. Ma- Mass and New York are the pivot points of this draft, if we're being honest. Um, I, I uh, feel good about your spots for those two. A- as men- Like, those were the two I needed to check off first as I built this team. Uh, like you said, I have Jersey and Pennsylvania. A lot of the stuff you guys said about Pennsylvania at third, um, you know, it's a big, probably not prime Troy Gloss, but it's like a big boy third baseman. <laughs> um Jersey and Pennsylvania on the left side, they're not really buds, but they actually get along because they don't like a lot of the other members of the team. Like, they're like, we're not buddies, but at least we're not fucking. I do, I do gotta say, like, you know, you're, in, you're infield, a lot of animosity. Oh, like, yeah. Maine and Rhode Island don't get along. It's a hostile team. And Jersey and Pennsylvania, parts of it get along. Yeah. They have but actually, dude. It's what I just explained. The right inner, there. it's the Western Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania. They get along, but they're so hated. Yeah. It's like, it's like East coast of Jersey and West coast of Pennsylvania are actually better friends. 
Right. Than the middle of yes. the two. Yeah, so different. It's basically, yeah. you know, Midwest and Mid-Atlantic versus farmland. Yeah. Yeah. No, like they, Pennsylvania, Jersey's whole game is predicated on being athletic. Pennsylvania, not athletic at all. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're both good ball players, but yeah, there's animosity between them, but they actually stay united. Like, they're buddies in the clubhouse, but after they're done playing, like, they don't keep up. No, your infield doesn't talk they're in the offseason. Gone. No. Especially with Delaware at catcher, it's real bizarre. Oh. Delaware's like how the Yankees are treating their catchers. Oh, wow. You're just an interchangeable. Oh, no. There's three Delawares in the Yankees. There's two oh. on the team and one in the farm system, and they don't oh. even care. Yeah. And my catching position was sad to do. Oh, no. I didn't like that. I do love my corner outfielders. If you're telling me to rank my top five. We got a chance here. If you're telling me to rank my top five, um, these are the two uh, most, like, I like the most. Um, you know, I liked Connecticut and Rhode Island when they fell. But my corner outfielders, uh, no brainer. It's Vermont and New Hampshire. Yes. They look the same. They're yes. tall and they're fucking weird. Like, Vermont yeah. is your wacky left fielder yeah. and New Hampshire is kind of your... Boring but good right fielder. There's spots in New Hampshire that are awesome. It's a destination. It's also got surface level stuff on like Rhode Island and it's a good area, but it's got a little weird and it knows it. Yeah. And Vermont is just your classic Hunter Pence. Your your Hunter Renfro. Hunter, you're just like off the wall. That what you that's what you had? You had yeah. those two? I didn't even like say which left was which. Left and right, and I wasn't even sure on the map which one was left or right, but yeah, I had that same way. Ooh. I have the exact dynamic we're discussing with Vermont being a little, little bit zanier. He's in left field. So we all had Vermont and left? Vermont left. I I could be talked into a switch, especially after listening to your to a previous discussion we did. Uh, I currently have New Hampshire slotted into center. I am open to a change. It's just because of the border thing. They're I mean, I, I guess what's going to really decide this, we have a chance for three and three in the outfield. Something about the shape of it and being an impact player in this region. I have Maryland in center field. Oh, I don't. Okay. That's that's okay. that's where I have New Jersey. Okay, because I, there's athletic. not uh, there's athletic okay. Trout's from Jersey, best center fielder of all time, basically. And uh, I needed a spunk. Yeah, like I needed like we have we have Vermont and New Hampshire, and they're a little aloof out there. And I needed a captain to reel them in and kind of like, yo, fucking head in the game, Vermont. You know. Like he's he's watching the fans, like the fight in the fans, yeah. and New Jersey is patrolling his corner outfielders. Like, yeah. wake up, guys! So yeah. I I actually loved that dynamic when I ran into it. That they needed someone to hone them in, and that's where I don't know if Maryland can do that. Maryland, like, you so know. what did it for me is when you look at the map, look at the shape of Maryland. It covers ground. It kind of covers so gap to some, gap. Some I didn't look west. at a map. Like Maryland look. covers front and the gaps. Like, that's literally the shape of it. So, and everyone was trying to hone in those zany fuckers. Yes. In yeah. New Hampshire and Vermont. Yeah. Vermont, New Hampshire, some of the grassier states <laughs> in this region. Yeah, I bet. So, 420. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they were going to end up in the outfield. However, exactly you shook them And out. Maryland's athletic. You know, they've got the lacrosse reputation and that kind of stuff. Like I don't, I don't hate it. I just, uh, I don't even. I mean, the Maryland, New Jersey stuff we've, we've got going yeah. on. There's a lot of. So here's where I could I might make a switch. I have Rhode Island in right field because it was a go be in the corner, figure it out. Um, but I can be talked pretty easily into a New Hampshire Rhode Island swap after we pictured Rhode Island as a little flashier and and I think it makes a lot more sense to do it the way like if you like Rhode Island in center. And he's just kind of like, uh, who was the Jade? Who was the Juan Pierre? No, who was the who was the uh, outfielders on the Toronto, and then it was on the Yankees for like five days last year. Short Ooh. little center oh, field. Rajay Davis. No, um, Jonathan Davis. Jonathan, Jonathan Davis. Davis. Like that's yeah. Rhode Island in center is Jonathan Davis in center. You just I'm, center field is a little switch. It's a little too close to me to to pencil that in. Um, no, but that was that's what Rhode Island would be if it was out there. Yeah. Yes, little, little yes, but flash. I I. My soul can't even do like that even maybe like field. an Adam Eaton if like they put him in center for a day, it's like pissy and vinegar. Yeah, out of the league. Um, I mean, this brings us to our starter and a reliever, right? Yeah. Uh, also, DH. Oh, DH. oh, DH. 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 I like my DH. I'll throw it out there. I didn't like it. There's a spin zone on it. Uh, it's Connecticut. 
Um, uh, that's Chase Headley as a DH. It's it's uh, <laughs> old Mark Teixeira, like preppy. Okay, like preppy yeah, can't that makes sense. really run. Yeah. Like used to do these things. Like can make baseball look pretty, but at the end of the day, kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the, so that's uh, what I fell into. Again, I'm a proud Connecticut person. I didn't have a great landing place. I put Maryland at DH. Okay. Um, and the reason why? Yeah. This is the last spot I chose. Forgot because I forgot about the forgot about DH. DH. And I never full spot for Maryland. Maybe you felt good about your DH, so I'll 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 hear you out. Um, so this is where Massachusetts did end up for Interesting. me. A veteran, been okay. through the ringer, been there, done that. Okay. That's incredibly important bit. in an older iteration of this team, and now he's got just the stories to tell that he's teaching the younger kids. Used to be at first base, I think. Okay. For for a lot of his playing days. Old Wade Boggs or something. Um, okay. Okay. I've I've heard it. Mm. I uh here's my thing, and this is the first two I put down were my pitcher and my reliever. My starting pitcher was New York. New York. Um New York impact. It is the player in the state. It's the Scherzer, it's the Alpha on the team. New York, New York, New York. And that's where, not planning on it, I fell in love with Massachusetts, the closer. Gritty, willing to do anything to get the final out. Um, kind of like my haircut brother. I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now. Still tricking Sergio him. Romo. Sergio Romo. Sergio Romo. Like, <clears throat> it's not the most confident closer at all. But... Massachusetts comes in and they're not scared to do anything they need to to try to get those final three outs. Gritty Massachusetts. And I just, it sets a tone for the team. New York on the front end, Mass on the back. Yeah. Can see it. My, my reliever. So, New York nice. for starting pitcher. New York starting pitcher. This is where Maine ended up for me. Oh, interesting. Um, Looks like a glove, cool. But it's the, the way this shook out, the sneaky big thing. Um, and it was sort of like, a, like, oh, we got New York out of the game, and I forgot about this big mf -er Okay. Maine coming Jumbo down. Diaz. On, yeah. Jumbo like Diaz. And, and Kenley, and, um, maybe not. Yeah. Prime yeah. Kenley. It's, it's like, like a one-pitch pitcher. Sneaky big has, like, the couple things it does. Come so, in. Maine's my starting pitcher. Okay. <clears throat> Just a whack job. Okay. Oddball. Comes from a different country, you would think. Right. But on the mound. Uh, in his own head. Yeah. Doesn't really <laughs> talk to the team. Okay. Everyone kind of goes like, oh, yo, that's that's Maine. Sydney Ponson. <clears throat> yeah, I was like Jamie Moyer. Like, wow. Maine might be 45 years old. Yeah. But he's still the starting him. pitcher. Shows up, pitches, leaves. No one knows anything about him. Okay. And uh, all they do know is that he's odd. Right. One conversation, you feel like like you're Whew. tapped out. That's how Whoa. I had Maine. I okay. had him like, you know, goalie on the hockey team. Just like, oh, shit. Yeah. That dude. A little bizarre. Out of here. <clears throat> Which left Delaware as my relief pitcher. Mm. And uh, I had the Sergio Romo. Okay. Um, like, little guy. How the fuck is he getting me out? situation with Delaware like no one ever is intimidated and he might be dude like getting his knuckles dirty while he's pitching okay like it might be an Adam Simber okay but small guy situation I didn't if it was anyone besides you the name that comes to mind for Delaware reliever is Tyler Clippard could be yeah. High change ups. Yeah. Just not. Sometimes it works really good. Other times yeah. it looks like bad. No, practice. you're not. Like, even his own teammates aren't like, I got faith. Yeah. But somehow he's been doing it. Ian Kennedy. He's been working. Tyler okay. Clippard. Like, he's just, what? That guy's Delaware still yeah. closing out games? Okay. This okay. is the, the least amount of overlap we've yeah. ever had. So I'll, I'll say this. I think what could have really. <clears throat> pivoted the draft is I think there's one alternate pitching combo that could have shook up everything and it would be Vermont New Hampshire for kind of some of the reasons you said 
Like, Vermont is your classic, like, weird lefty starting pitcher. Like, quirky, funky. And then New Hampshire comes in from the right side. And, like, they're kind of the same deal. But you end up playing them, and you're like, how do we lose to those guys? Yeah. And then that allows you to put New York and Massachusetts in the lineup, which can really change your team dynamic. Um, At least for mine. If I made two lineups, that's how I would have shook it up. Would you make a bet on your team? I would. I would. Would you, Jim? Yeah, I would, dude. I really would. Would you go to the DraftKings <clears throat> Sportsbook? Hey, I didn't check my bet yesterday. How'd you do? Go check your five-leg parlay uh, at the DraftKings Sportsbook. I've got my bet of the days coming out on Fridays. Um, they're all winners. DraftKings is an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. And if you see a winner out there, you see a team that's going to win, $5, and you will win $200. In free bets if they do. They also have the daily fantasy contest. Um, why don't you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now? Use promo code John. Lost. Damn, dude. Um, I got one out of five. Oh, that's not bad. I didn't know it was going to be the worst game ever played. Yeah. <laughs> Bet just $5 and win $200 in free bets if your team wins their game. That's promo code John Boy. At the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Major League Baseball. 21 plus restrictions apply. MLB trademarks used with permission. See show notes for details. I'll place a bet. I, ha- I got DJ to get a hit. <clears throat> mm. Garrett Cole, five plus strikeouts thrown at three in the first inning. Wow, you just yelled at Luke for I that. Know. I think you predicted <laughs> him. Uh, Rizzo, plus one. <laughs> I also had the Tigers were going to score in the third inning. I didn't know Cole was going to be out. I right. wouldn't have done that. Hmm. <laughs> And I took the over, which was looking good for a little bit. That's okay. What an awful game. <laughs> win's a win. Let's see. A win's a win. Do you guys have batting orders? Oh. <clears throat> all all I, I, I don't have a batting order. I can do it kind of quick. Um, I, I do know that uh, Rhode Island's my nine hole and Connecticut's my seven hole. Um. Because I'm the Yankees. <laughs> but, you know, my catcher, Pennsylvania, is, is not a Yankees catcher. Like, he's... He's got a little thump. He's got a little thump to him. He's like... Uh, he's actually like a f- six-hole catcher. Um, I didn't have a lot of my players pegged as big bats. Vermont and New, New Hampshire are my two lefties. So, they're probably going um, like 5-7. Mm, balance. Uh, to balance it up. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. I got... Delaware leading off for state. Rhode Island's a switch hitter, but everyone's like, dog, you suck okay. at balls. <laughs> maybe pick one and go Just all pick out. one and like just, just practice. Just practice maybe. that one, maybe. Practice. The old Cedric Mullins approach. A little bit, little bit old timey. So Delaware won first state. Connecticut batting second. He's just like all contact. We'll shoot it the other way. Shortstop. Pennsylvania, a little thump catcher. It's a three all catcher. Again, not a lot. Three all catcher. Not a ton Whoa. of thump in this lineup. Um, the New Jersey's four, and that now we're starting to see how he's so upset. It was like Connecticut's getting to bat up there. I think New Jersey. The I think New Jersey's your two hole. New Jersey thinks he should be. I have Jersey yeah. lead. It's off. like it's kind of an old again. It's like an old school lineup to an extent. New Jersey doesn't get what the manager's infatuation with Connecticut is. Why he's getting to play shortstop? Why he's getting a lot of abs? We can get him to the bottom. Move him and PA up. Mm. Whatever. Massachusetts DH five hole. He's still he's still swinging it a little bit. Maryland first base six. He's okay. Um, Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Jersey, Pennsylvania, Maine, uh, Connecticut. Again, it's it's not great. This isn't a good ball team. Maryland and then Vermont, New Hampshire. They're back to back. They're freaks. The manager kind of leans into that. Like you guys just do what you do. Rhode Island and Delaware. The catcher gets pinch hit for every game by Virginia. Hmm. That's, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Good exercise. We learned a lot. We exercised. Everyone came out uh, on top and ahead. 